Now you'll see my website is really starting to come together. I've had my pages, I've customized this theme, I'm starting to add in some plugins so I can change the functionality and look of my website as well. But there's still a few things that I need to do. Now on the right hand side you'll see that there are several things, a search box, a recent post section, comments, archives, etc. This is all created by widgets. Now widgets allow you to customize your website a bit further by adding different functionality to your sidebar or even down in your footer if you have a larger footer. Some themes allow you to add a particular widget there. And even on my home page, if I go back to my home page, I'll notice that scrolling down there was a still a few things I need to customize including the boxes here. Scrolling down there were some testimonials that told me to look under widgets to customize those. So I want to go in and customize my sidebar and these few areas on the home page. To do that I'm going to return to my dashboard and again go down to appearance and click on widgets. Now on the left hand side here you'll see all of the available widgets. If you've just installed WordPress, WordPress has pre-installed multiple widgets for you. On the right hand side is where you will see the live widgets that are on your website. And you can simply drag and drop widgets from the left to the right or to deactivate them from the right to the left and that will automatically update your website. Now depending on the theme that you have it selected you may have one widget area or you may have multiple widget areas. So you may just have a sidebar as I have here. You may also have a footer widget. For this particular theme you'll see that I have multiple widgets because I have a sidebar on my interior pages and I also have the focus section. You'll see that I also have testimonials, uh, the about section, our team that can appear on my home page. You'll see that my particular theme also has installed a client's widget. Now there's two things that I can do. I can click on the particular widget that I want and I can select the particular widget area where I want it to appear and click add widget. Or I can simply drag and drop it to where I want it to go. So in the testimonial section I want to be able to drag the testimonials widget here and then I can go ahead and fill out my testimonial. I can click save and return to my website. Refreshing the page, I'll now see that my testimonial is now live. So now all I need to do is I can customize it further by expanding on that testimonial since that doesn't sound too great. I can add in uh, an image if I have if I have a photo of the customer I can add that here but obviously we're going to need a, a couple more testimonials so I can simply click on the testimonial add it to the testimonial section click add widget and now I can add in my second testimonial so it's that easy to do if you want to remove the search bar let's say you can simply drag it back over here to your available widgets and now it's gone if I go back to let's say an interior page you can see it was at the top here and now it no longer appears. So it's that easy to add and remove widgets from your sidebar or other areas of your website. One of the most popular ones is simply a text widget which I'll add to the sidebar widget area and here you can simply add in a title, you can add in an image, you can add text, whatever you want to appear and click save. So that's if you're looking to have something that's a little bit more custom but really there's not any functionality behind it, that's where you can add it. If there is a functionality that you would like to add to your widget area, such as a contact form let's say, you want to go back to plugins and, and do a search for let's say a contact form widget and then that will pull up search results that can add a contact form to the sidebar of your website. If you're creating a web design business website and you would like to add a form so that on every page so that potential customers can contact you very easily, just do a search for contact form widget and find one that looks the way you want, install it, come back to your widgets area and drag and drop it to the widget area where you would like it to appear.